So mga kabanat, ito yung part na nakakatawa sa ginawang hearing sa Senado kung saan ito yung bahagi na nabisto ng lubusan itong ginawa ng Department of Health at uh, itong PSDBM na sa pagbibili ng face shield at uh, isa sa mga dahilan dito nakikita ng mga, nas, mga senador kaya hindi nakapagdesisyon ng lubusan si President Duterte na tanggalin yung face shield at inaamin niya rin nga na tayo lang talaga ang gumagamit ng face shield sa buong mundo walang gumagamit yan kundi tayo lamang e, sinabi nga ni President Duterte uh, nagsisi siya yun daw ang pinagsisihan niya dahil nga nakaraan ay eh, nanamagan itong mga senador na tanggalin na nga yung face shield at na nagdesisyon si President Duterte ng ilang oras lamang na tanggalin nga yung face shield, pumayag siya so kinalaunan ay wala pang 24 oras ay ibinalik na agad yung desisyon niya ay binabawi niya na tuloy pa rin yung paggamit ng face shield sa mga lugar kasi ang face shield niya ay ginawa yan para sa mga taong sa ospital para hindi matalsikan yung mukha pero ipinagamit sa atin kahit pumunta tayo sa labas pumunta tayo sa palingke ay pinapagamit ngayon kaya nga ang isang dahilan daw ni President Duterte kaya ano, dahil natakot sa dito sa Delta na lumalabas so ito yung nakita ng dahilan kaya itong Pangulo ay nakapag dahil nga nasa bulto na nabili na face mask uh, face shield sa hanay ng PSDBM na sabi nga dito ay iba may mahal pa iwan ko lang kung naubos na ito distribute ng mga kawani ng Department of Health na napakamahal no 120 talagang lutong Macau talaga mga lutong Macau mga uh, kabanat sabi nga ni Senator Gordon tubong lugaw ang ginawa ng Department of Health kasi inilipat nila yung pera pumunta sa PSDBM pagkatapos ay niyang bilhin ng PSDBM ay bibilhin din naman ng ng Department of Health ulit. So parang di, di, di talaga maintindihan ng mga senador anong klase ng ano yan. Sana mapaliwanag din nila ng tama yan para maunawaan din ng taong bayan ang ganin ganyang sistema na kanilang pinagawa. So ang bahagi na ito ay uh, pagdinig to ka hapon at uh, sabi ko nga ay eh, chapchapin natin para makita natin talaga yung ginagawa nilang pagdinig. So panoorin niyo to mga Uh, kabanat. Yeah. Kung bakit hindi nire-require ng WHO at saka ng CDC tapos biglang i-require natin. Yes, Senator Gerlon is recognized. Yes. Thank you. Just a few questions on uh, on, on, secret on, the, on the Secretary. Uh, yung, uh, is it true that uh, you purchased from PSDBM the face shields at uh, 124 pesos on April 29, 2020. Uh, Mr. Chairman, can I defer to Yusek uh, Lloyd Lau, who uh, knows the exact uh, pricing point? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, uh, with all due respect, can we request the Secretary to remove his mask when he answers our questions so we can hardly hear him? So, so I go back to my question. Uh, is it true that... Uh, Uh, DOH bought from PSDBM face masks at 124 pesos per piece on April 29, 2020. May I just ask uh, the uh, USEC uh, Carol Taino to uh, give her rejoinder to the question. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. USEC Carol Taino. I could hardly, anyway. What's the response? Is it yeah? Is it is is the uh, is this true or not? Did you purchase from a PSDBM face shields at 124 pesos on April 29, 2020? Ah, uh, uh, Angela Pusi, you said Carol uh, Mr. Chairman, the uh, head of the uh, procurement supply chain management office. Uh, May I request that whoever is that staff of the good secretary relay the answer to the secretary and for the secretary to answer this. Please don't pass me off to your director or, or whomsoever. Yes, you can consult your director as to whether the statement I am making is correct or not. But please answer the uh, respond to the question. 
Yeah. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman, uh, Your Honors. Yes, uh, we confirm that we have procured a uh, face shield from the uh, PSDVM. Of for 124 pesos, That's uh, there is a purchase request. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. Oh, Chair. All right. Is this same face shield, was this the same face shields purchased from uh, uh, Blue Cross at 120 pesos on, Feb on, on, on April 22, one week before it was purchased by DOH? The source of the procurement from the face shield that we do not know, sir. Yeah, but uh, you purchased it <laughs> from uh, from PSDVM. Yes. Is to that the correct? Virtual store. Yes, sir. Apo. And the inventory at that time came from uh, uh, from 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 Blue Cross, which the PSDVM purchased at one twenty. Okay. Now I'll go to my question now. Uh, Mr. Secretary, when you move 42 billion to PSDBM, was it to replenish or was it to purchase the inventory uh, of face shields, uh, face masks, etc.? Uh, Mr. Chairman, my uh, documents uh, will show that uh, when we downloaded uh, through the agency procurement uh, request or the APRs. This uh, started uh, on March 26, spanning uh, through several months until December 4, 2020. And the... Uh, please, please, Secretary Duque, answer yes, my question. When you moved 42 billion, was it to... to, to, to replenish or to or to build up the inventory of PSDBM of for the supplies no no mr chairman uh, definitely uh, mr chairman so you ppe is what, 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 I mean, what in what concept did you transfer this there we will only transfer it for, for on on, on uh, the role of the PSDBM and i hope the chairman of the coalitions when you move 42 billion, it's either you move this to DBM in the concept of a procurement entity directing uh, uh, PSDBM to purchase it for you, or you transfer this money to build up the inventory for common use supplies. In the Puba. The former is correct, uh, Mr. Chairman. Okay. If I am correct, then in what concept did you move these funds? Uh, did you move these funds to PSDBM as, as the agent of DOH, or did you move it to, to, to PSDBM so that they will have an inventory of, of these so-called common use supplies and equipment so that when, 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 when the uh, uh, government agencies, government hospitals would need this they do not have to go through bidding. There, in other words, the uh, the PSDBM became a virtual store where these uh, government agencies simply uh, place their purchase orders. So, which one? I just I'm interested, uh, uh, Mr. Duque. Yeah, the first one is correct, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we uh, had to uh, download uh, through the APR for them to uh, purchase the uh, needs of our uh, healthcare workers. Okay. So, so okay, to purchase, to purchase. When you, when, you, when, you, when you requested them to purchase, did you request them to purchase in your behalf? Yes or no? Uh, it was an APR that I signed. Uh, the, in fact, okay. 9 of 14 uh, APRs were signed by Yusek Karo Tainyo, and I did sign five. I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Duque. Uh, we're running out of time. Just answer my question. When you move 42 billion huh, to PSDBM, did you move it in order that they can purchase for you the medical supplies and equipment, which are uh, which are now classified as common use, 
or did you transfer the 42 billion so that PSDBM can build an inventory from where the public hospitals can get the supplies? Which one? Uh, the first one, uh, Mr. Chairman, the, uh, uh, the, procurement, the procurement uh, of these supplies as uh, common use supplies and equipment on our behalf, uh, Mr. Chairman. So, so you consider you so PSDBM was your agent uh, at that instance when you moved. Is that correct? I uh, cannot uh, use the word agent. Uh, what what what, I, what were they? Well, they were the procuring uh, entity of the uh, national government based they on the procuring entity of the DOH. Right? They were the procuring entity of the DOH. Right or wrong? Uh, well, that is correct. What I'm asking is, in what capacity did PSDBM receive this? Did they receive this 42 billion as the agent of DOH, or they receive this in order to build up uh, their inventory of common use supplies? And you well, know, it, uh... Mr. Duque, Mr. Secretary, you admitted that you purchased fish shields from from uh, from PSDBM which face shields were purchased from Blue Cross and was funded by the 42 billion which was transferred to uh, by by your by by your authority moved over to PSDBM I, I have to check that uh, Mr. Chairman uh, I will have to uh confer with uh, the PSDBM uh, USEC Tainio. Uh, you know, as Mr. Secretary, it is most disappointing that you moved 42 billion to another agency and you cannot even remember you know, uh, what was the nature of the transfer. I mean, that's that's not 42 pesos, that's not 42,000, that's not 42 million, that's 42 billion. And you, you cannot even answer me now uh, uh, what was the nature of the authorization to 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 PSDBM? I am asking a very simple question. When you ask DBM PSDBM to purchase this, did you did you did will they, were they purchasing this so-called common use uh, supplies as your representative and agent and uh, and and in your behalf or? Did you pass on to them the 42 billion so that they can have an inventory of medical supplies worth 42 billion? Very simple question. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I uh, stick to my earlier uh, uh, rejoinder that uh, we procured this uh, as part of the uh, common use supplies and equipment. To you purchase this the, uh, as common use supplies and. Uh, I'm sorry? The common use uh, supplies and equipment, and that is the uh, uh, concept that is the basis okay. for our uh, downloading through the agency procurement uh, request. Oh. As, uh, after the procurement, the after the procurement is made, who now owns the supplies? PSDBM or DOH? The DOH, uh, Mr. Chairman. DOH. So why did you purchase face shields? from from uh, from PSDBM if the OH is the owner why was there a suggested retail price uh, and for who and, and uh, the suggested retail price was already so high that the uh, that the uh, uh, agencies did not want to buy it anymore Mr. Chairman with the permission of Senator Rilon yes sir yes uh to summarize yung point na ni ni Rerecy Senator Dilon, hindi ba double payment yan? Nag-advance ka, tinraspo mo yung pera, tapos bibili ka uli, sarili mong pera ginamit. Yeah. <laughs> it's a case of double payment. Paliwanag po yan, sir. And not only that, may commission na na 4%. <laughs> Nagamit for service. <laughs> so, so, eh, 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 ako talagang hindi ko maintindihan. Yes, yes. Baliwanag po ba eh. Tinatanong na namin simple lang. Ha? Ito po ba nung binigay niyo yung 42 billion? Ang sabi nga ni Senator Recto, pabili. Ha? Pabili. 
Ibig sabihin, kung public kung kung kung, uh, kung bumili ang uh, ang uh, PSDBM for and in behalf of the OH, the supplies are properties of the OH logically. Now, why is it that you purchase your own supplies? Bakit po binili niyo yung inyong sariling supply? At mas, mas, mas pataas pa by 4 pesos in this particular instance? Wala po tayong, hindi natin paliwanag ito siguro. Ano? Uh, if I may, uh, the uh, purchase uh, of uh, the DOH these are uh, loose uh, face shields and uh, surgical mask uh, pieces. Hindi right. po siya kasama doon. Kasi pinamigay din namin ito, uh, hindi po siya kasama doon sa PPE sets. So these are uh, separate uh, items. The PPE sets will be uh, accounted for, uh, can be uh, accounted for uh, with the document trail. With the paper trails, uh, Mr. Chairman. It's, it's not a question of accounting. Uh, and uh, for the last uh, 20 minutes, I've been trying to get the correct situation, and I keep on uh, uh, getting uh, turned around. I mean, answers which are uh, not precise. I have a very simple question. When the PSD DBM purchased the face shields did they purchase this in behalf of the oh or did they purchase this as part of their inventory uh the uh first one is uh correct uh mr chairman what is correct they bought it in uh, our behalf uh mr chairman they based on the gppb the resolution behalf. they purchased it in your behalf so why did you purchase it back from them if you if they purchased it in your behalf? You are the owner. No, no, we, uh, Mr. Chairman, I'm sorry, but uh, I uh, have no uh, information of uh, the same that we purchased this. Uh, can I uh, just respectfully ask uh, you, sir, right. uh, Carol Taino, to uh, please uh, uh, clarify this uh, particular... Uh, yeah, we have no more time, but anyway, you'll have time to research. Now the next question is, and this is because this is this was uh, this is in relation to the finding of COA. If you said it was purchased in your behalf by PSDBM, didn't the rules of COA, the internal IRR, require a memorandum of agreement? Because these were uh, you were you were uh, uh, designating PSDBM as your uh, agent your purchasing agent you are the principal the, ma the money is never uh, uh is still the, the uh, funds would still be with the dp the uh, oh and that is why uh they are that's why there's a moa required under the rules because you entrust to them funds of your department now so you you know please explain this because uh, and there, what you are saying now, as the nature of the, trans of the transaction, in effect, these masks, shields, etc., are properties of the DOH because the budget came from the DOH. And by your own declaration, uh, DOH simply asked the SDBM to purchase it for DOH. Now, <laughs> you purchase it for the DOH, and yet, this the the DPSDB when they moved back the merchandise or the supplies to DOH, DOH paid four pesos more than the one hundred twenty pesos. Nananggaling din sa sa DOH budget, uh, Mr. Chairman of the COA, can you clarify us on this? Uh yes, Mr. Chairman. Um. Yeah, kasi kung stock in trade din or nasa inventory na po ng uh, PSDBM yan, yun yung sinasabing hindi na kailangan ng MOA kasi you're just yes. um, getting the items and then i-deduct na lang dun sa float. Yes. Na, it, it, the yes. amount of money that you already transferred beforehand. 
Um, kaya lang dito, it might have been a combination. There might have been some stocks, but then mukha namang there was really a requirement for them to purchase for uh, for DOH. Kaya nga nag-fund transfer. And in fact, as clarified by Secretary Galvez, itong mga binili were those that were distributed or being distributed sa DOH regional offices and the like. Kaya nga po, we were requiring a MOA. Uh, the auditors were requiring a MOA. That is why since... Uh... Uh, they were just purchased since PSDBM purchased this for and on behalf of the DOH. There should have been a MOA under the rules of uh, the COA. Uh, yes, Pa. All right. Yeah, that's all I wanted. And it's here, there was no MOA sign. Uh, wala pa po. <laughs> wala pa. Wala. Mr. Chairman. <laughs> Isang Mr. Chairman. Eh. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, if I, if I may just uh, respond very quickly. The, uh, the PSDBM has been of uh, the position and uh, they have uh, these documents to say that uh, the legal basis uh, for uh, the procurement by uh, PSDBM of these uh, common uh, use supplies and equipment is supported by the uh, letter of instruction number 755 the GPPB Resolution 03-2020, and also uh, PSDBM uh, Section 4 of Executive Order EO285. But uh, I will just give you the uh, copy of uh, these documents. And uh, that has been reiterated in a uh, document that has been uh, submitted to me by uh, uh, Attorney Paul Gimbarda of uh, the procurement and supply chain. Now, I would like to read out to you the uh, one of the recommendations of uh, COA uh, in their Consolidated Agency Annual Report. Nakalagay po dito, management of fund transfers. No? We recommend, ito, this was uh, given to us when the AAR, the CAR, was submitted. No? A, we recommend that the Secretary of Health a, to direct the heads of the operating units to prepare, amend, and submit the duly signed MOAs and henceforth require MOAs prior to transfer receipt of funds. Yeah. So, there's a recommendation. And I have asked the uh, PSDBM na kailangan may MOA. This is the recommendation okay, of, no. the, uh, of the COA. But the PSDBM, it uh, is uh, invoking that there is no need because by virtue of the GPPB resolution 03-2020, they can procure for us uh, these items which have been identified as common use supplies and okay. equipment by okay. virtue of another resolution, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Secretary, as every lawyer will tell you, in the situation that we see today or when these purchases were made from your own assertion doh retained the ownership of the budget now you authorized uh, dbm to purchase you changed the nature of the asset from being cash in the budget to face mask face shields etc so you still you should still own that asset which you now distribute to public hospitals etc but in this particular case that same asset of the that that same asset of the doh which is now in the form of a face shield instead of a cash of 120 pesos it was sold to you for 124. <laughs> Uh, if it, uh, if it, doesn't that bother you as a, uh, and then uh, it is sold to you at 124, ginamit ang pera ng DOH para bumili, para pinagtubuan. Huh? Uh, itong, ito talaga tubong lugaw. Talagang <laughs> pera nyo na, uh, binili, sabi mo, pabili mo ako ng face shield. Oh, sabi ng DBM, oh, ito na yung face shield. Binili mo sa akin ng 124 in the simplest terms something is wrong with it and then they made they made four pesos in this example and then they make four pesos as a profit uh, and then my commission pasila using 
budget and funds allocated by Congress to DOH. I rest, uh, I, I, I leave there, uh, Mr. Chairman. I think uh, it's almost four o'clock. Uh, this is something that will be beyond uh, explanation. I don't know how they will explain this. Because, because, and then, just one more point. PSDBM said there is a suggested retail price. If there is a suggested retail price, that means they are selling their asset and it should be bought at this suggested retail price. If, if DOH simply assigned, uh, 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 put this in the hands of PSDBM as uh, an agent or a buy agent of the procurement uh, enterprise, uh, entity, which is DOH, why should there be a suggested retail price? Hindi naman pag-aari ng DBM yun, ng PSDBM. Why is there a suggested retail price, SRP? Huh? And therefore, they're saying the suggested retail price is this. You buy it at this price. The funds come to us, goes back to us because kami ang nagbenta. But ang pera galing sa DOH. Something. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. What I uh, understand uh, is that the budget that was used to buy these uh, common use uh, supplies and equipment is separate from uh, the money utilized uh, to purchase uh, the uh, face shield, uh, loose. These are loose uh, items of uh, face mask and uh, face shield. What was the budget? What was the budget of PSDBM for 2020? I assure you that they do not have that kind of a money and a budget to be able to purchase 42 billion pesos worth of common new supplies, which are medical equipment. Kaya hindi mo pwede sabihin budget yan ng PSDBM. Yung budget po galing sa DOH. Sabi niyo, Mr. Chairman. That is correct. Uh, this is evidenced by uh, our uh, uh, APRs. Uh, the documents are with us. These are the uh, agency uh, uh, procurement uh, requests that we uh, downloaded. Which you purchased, which, which you gave to PSDBM. This is a purchase, uh, agency purchase request. Ang binenta sa inyo, yung binili nyo rin. Hindi ho, Mr. Chairman. I uh, beg to disagree. Uh, but but uh, anyway, I will uh, look into this. Uh, give me a little more time to uh, clarify this, uh, Mr. Chairman, with your permission. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> Go into it. I, yeah, uh, this must be explained because if you cannot explain this, may sabit po kayo. Uh, on the record lang, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, we... Dahil, uh, kung sinabi nyo uh, ito ay... Kung sinabi nyo na ito ay nilipat lamang para baka pagbili ng medical supplies, ay hindi yung supplies dapat pag-aari niyan ay DOH. That is correct, Mr. Chairman. Pag-aari talaga ng DOH, lahat so, nito mga... Kung bakit nyo ng APR. Kung bakit nyo binibili? Bakit nagbubili kayo ng face shield na binenta ng, <laughs> ng Blue Cross sa PSDBM na nanggaling din sa inyo ang pera na uh, pinagbili ng face shield. Anyway, uh, again, the, Mr. Chairman, uh, these are additional uh, loose items, uh, Mr. Chairman. So yan mga kababan at medyo nawawala ngayon ako sa focus dahil nga doon sa nangyari sa isang channel ko. Na yung channel na yun ay doon tayo kumukuha ng pangangailangan eh siya pa yung nadali no? so sana uh, tulungan nyo rin ako support itong channel na to at uh, mag ingat tayo dito talaga sa paglalagay yung mga bagay na hirap kasi din iditik mga kabanat yung ayaw ng may, ayaw ng kung bagay yung policy nila mahirap mo talaga iwasan eh minsan may mga ano ka talagang ano, hindi mo talaga maano, maiwasan Kasi hindi mo naman alam kung ano ba talaga yung ano mo eh. Buti sana kung gagawin nila yan, once ka na-detect yung words na ganun, eh mabablock dito. Hindi eh. I-review nila yan tapos dadalihin ka, lalo na itong gamot na ating nagsisikap naman sana tayong makatulong. 
doon sa ating ano na gobyerno sinisigaw din natin yan sakaling magising itong ating uh, nasa gobyerno pero siya pa yung dahilan kaya nawalan tayo ng isang ano uh, channel matagal na rin yung channel ko mga kabanat halos uh, ilang taon na rin yun Naka, nasa 19 siguro video noon napakarami na simula nung nandun yung lahat pati mga pagka-support ko kay President Duterte nandun yun hanggang medyo kumambio ako dahil nga nakita ko itong pinagagawa although na hindi naman ako talaga antay talagang naging purong nga ako noon noon naging hindi, hindi ko rin masabi na DDS hindi iba kasi ako ibang klase ako kasing Duterte supporter na alam kong hindi maganda yung ginagawa hindi ako nagsasalita hindi ako nagko-comment pag nag-upload ako sa video ni President Duterte talagang yung mga bad tinatanggal ko yan aalisin ko yan sa hihanay na ayaw kong may mapuna kay Pangulo na nanonood yun ang ginagawa ko Yo, so ngayon, yun, nakakalungkot mga kabanat sana napatuloy pa rin yung suporta nyo no? so, para manatili tayo kasi napakahirap ang sitwasyon ngayon yun ang, dahi, uh, yun ang inaasahan natin so ngayon nawawala pa so, yan ay napakalaking bad news na nangyari sa atin sa akin dahil nga yung yung mga bagay na alis tayo sa mga bagay na ating pinaglaban na may katotohanan naman no? hindi naman ta hindi naman yun ni strike dahil sa mga fake news na mga gawa yan ay katotohanan pero wala tayong magawa dahil sila yung may kapangyarihan dito eh so yan muna mga mga kabanat at maraming salamat sana patuloy niyo kami patuloy niyo akong suportahan dito